What's up guys, C. Lopez back once again with another tutorialism and today I'm going to be looking at how you can liven up a shaker loop uh, rather than me just making a little 4 bar, 8 bar loop especially for the tutorial this time I'm going to take an example from a track that I've actually got coming out so I'm on some uh, shameless promotion stuff today but there you go so this is the C. Lopez remix of Fallen by Solidstice and Soul Vibration out on Deeper Motion rec Recordings. Uh, it's exclusive to Beatport for about the next two weeks. After that, it's available at all the other stores. And uh, if you want to support the channel, go ahead and buy it. If you like the track, obviously go ahead and buy it. And that's about all I'm going to do for the sales pitch because, as you can probably tell, I'm no salesman. Alright, so I've just taken a scene from the arrangement and put it into um, session view here. And this is the little shaker loop. So I'm just going to mute that and I'm just going to do the whole thing from scratch. So I've got this shaker loop that I think I got from uh, a Sonic Academy sample pack, I think. So you can hear what the, what the shaker loop sounds like there. Just drag it into my session view. Hit play. So this is the original loop. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab a compressor. Now I know you've seen this a million times before, but I'm just going to put a little bit of side chain compression on the loop coming from the kick drum. You can hear that? Now usually when you add side chain compression you get a real pumping sound but with this particular shaker loop it's changing the whole loop. So I've soloed up and you can see. So without. You hear that? And because of the nature of a shaker, it's not really sounding like it's pumping. It's just sounding like a completely different shaker loop already just from that one simple little move. So next, a bang EQ8 on it. And as you can see there, there's a lot of low end energy going on. So I'll be quite brutal with it and take it all out. I'll only really need the, the top end stuff for a shaker loop. Give it a bit of a high cut as well, just in case any of those uh, high frequencies get out of control. So now this shaker loop, as it stands, as it stands, it, it sounds kind of alright. It's a little bit boring, a little bit repetitive, a little bit predict predictable, but it's got a nice groove going on. So this next one little move is just my way of making this loop my own. So I've just put it into put the the loop bracket into a, 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 a one one beat loop, and as you can see, just that little move there. I've changed it to 1.2 of a loop and haven't looping around. It's given it a little bit of variation, so I'll just shut it for a second so you can hear that. So you hear that that those little triplets that are coming in on the first beat because I've I've looped the I've made the loop brace 1.2 beats long that little triplet comes in at different points so I've just 
imported in, into a range view, dragged it out over eight bars, uh, pressed Control and J to consolidate it. Now I've got a new eight bar loop, which I'll put back into session view. So I'll just move the original loop up one, drag my new eight bar loop in underneath it, change the color of the original loop. <clears throat> And now with my new 8 bar loop, so you see the little, the waveform, the way you've got that little triplet pattern on the first beat. And you see when I come to the second bar, <clears throat> that lit, uh, the little triplet's happening at 3.2 there. And then next you can see rather than coming at 4.2, it's happening at 4.3. And uh, the next beat will be on 5.4 and so on. You hear the ch it's happening at different points throughout the eight bars. <clears throat> I compare that to the original shaker loop. This is the loop that I started with. <laughs> And this is what I've ended up with. Just three simple moves there. Side chain compression, bit of EQ, and change the position of the loop brace so that it's 1.2 uh, bars loop rather than just a, a one bar loop or a four bar loop. Put that back with the rest of the track. Uh, actually, I'm gonna show you something that I did on the drum bus. So that Eventide Ultra Channel plugin that we all got. Uh, a few months back for free, now costs 250 quid if you didn't get it. I just want to show you these little EQ moves I did. So I've got a bit of a low cut, a bit of a cut of 500 and a bit of a high boost. So without, and with, you're going to need headphones on or decent monitors to hear this. Without, and with. Uh, that's, That's just, again, just a few simple little moves and it's making that beat sound like night and day. Oh, and as you can see there, I've got a tiny little bit of compression on as well. So yeah, loving that Ultra Channel plugin. <laughs> Definitely a good buy. <clears throat> All right, I'm also gonna show you what I've got on the Master Bus here. Now, when I sent this off to the label, I didn't have anything on the Master Bus. This is just for the tutorial. So, I've got this Love to Cuss EQ. <clears throat> uh, and you can see I've got a few little moves there. Got a boost of 2 at 40, boost of 2 at 640, boost of 3 at 2.5, and a boost of 2 at 20k. Without. And with. I'm just going to flick that last switch, the keep gain button, which is going to change any change in actual volume in the EQ. So I'm just going to get the EQ moves without the, the raise and volume. Next, a bit of bus compression. Uh, this is uh, from the demo from Tone Boosters. So just some real gentle compression, just controlling the peaks. real subtle but it's making a difference and next up loving this limiter barricade by tone boosters So transparent, loving it. Definitely an L2 killer, well in my opinion anyway. Alright, 
Alright, so that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Uh, that's how you liven up a shaker loop and make it your own. Now, I know from my YouTube statistics that most people have turned off by now, but if you're still watching, I've just got a little request for you. <laughs> now, the other day, um, a guy posted, uh, a guy called Florin or Florin posted that he had used uh, my drum bus uh, compression technique on one of his own tracks and he posted a video to the track and I just thought it was really really cool so what I would like you guys to do if anybody is taking any notice of anything I say and t and putting into practice anything I'm saying please 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 upload it to SoundCloud post the links to my uh, Facebook page tell us what it is you've used and I'll go ahead and listen and if I get anything really cool obviously I'll show it on my page because I mean as much as I, I do love all the comments all the likes but I think what I really would like is just to hear you putting into practice some of the advice and some of the little tips and tricks that I'm giving out I mean that would be amazing so anybody who can do that be wicked okay so that's it for now see Lopez tutorialism peace